As you guys know, we are awaiting the brand new Halloween update that is going to be due for Royal High any day now. As we approach the next week where October 1st is just around the corner, we are starting to prepare for all of the stuff that is going to be coming to Royal High. As well as, of course, the announcements of new toys and various other things that we're waiting for too. There's so much hype around Royal High right now, but we have some exciting news as some more things coming soon for Royal High have been shared. Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell and of course you stack a B when buying Robux or Premium. So little beans, as you guys already know, the Halloween update this year will no doubt have some very exciting things to come. We've already seen that Vianchi has worked on redecorating of the front office to go along with the Rainy Day classroom. But there's also been some other developments Vianchi has been working on on his live streams. We have a bunch of new spooky dorm furniture that will be released alongside it and Vianchi just posted a video right before I'm making this video actually showcasing some of those things. As you can see in Vianchi's video, you guys, there are various different bits and bobs inside of the game of stuff that they are working on. If we skip through, you can see that they were working for a while on some accessories that were going to be placed inside of the dorms so that you guys will be able to buy them when the dorms update comes out for Halloween. As you can see, as the video progresses, there's parts where they begin decorating it and showcasing various stuff. There's a person stood next to it wearing a skirt that I believe is already in the game as a reference, but as you can see, they are making what looks to be a tomb or coffin for you to have inside of your dorm room. Now, one thing I did notice is that as they get further on, the actual decorations on the side become editable. So you are going to be able to recolor it, you guys, and make it custom. There's also like these heart shapes and things like that that are being added to stuff with the bat wings, which I think is really cool. But as you can see, there are textures being added as well. Soon, you'll be able to put them inside of your dorm rooms and use them, I'm assuming, as an actual bed. How cool does that look, you guys? They look pretty amazing, if you ask me. Now, if you are wondering, there isn't just this coming too. There are also other things Vianchi had been working on, such as jack-o'-lanterns and various other bits and bobs. So presumably those will be coming as well. And they've also worked on some of the older Halloween accessories and making them into items that are placeable, which is actually already out now. Now there is also one other thing that we know for sure is going to be coming. You guys may remember that when the dorm update first released, this skull bag, too cool for skull, was released inside of the shop. It was promptly taken down about two days in when Royal High realized it was not supposed to be there and was showing because of a glitch. This is actually a new item and as you can see it's sold for 5,000 candy so it isn't really actually supposed to be on display yet. But if this is the only one that's glitched there could also still be others that aren't glitched so that could indicate that there's going to be more accessories releasing that will cost candy. Now it does make me wonder if maybe the new coffins and things like that that Vianchi was working on may cost candy too. We'll have to wait and see but that's proof you guys that new candy items are coming as well. So with all of that in mind, it means that new updates are definitely on the way. We have a new dorm update coming with new dorm items, as well as new halos coming. Of course, the evening fall halo, the first ever evening fall halo will be on the way. In addition, you guys, to whatever new realms, such as Wickery Cliffs or re-releases of Blackwood Manor, or maybe even reworked realms that will be coming too. There is literally so much to look forward to, you guys, that I couldn't be more excited if I tried. And I am so, so, so hyped because it looks as though the developers are working really hard to get a bunch of really cool stuff out for us. And honestly, you guys, I literally am so hyped. So with all of that in mind, you guys, it looks as though the Halloween update is only a few short days away. We are so close to the beginning of October now. The end of September is very much upon us. And of course, as the takeover happens, the update normally releases in early October. So it could come as soon as the end of this week. Now, obviously, I am incredibly excited, you guys, because there is so much to look forward to. And I am so ready for all of the different things that are going to come out but I'd love to hear what you guys are hoping is going to release and what you guys are most excited for too. So please let me know in the comments down below that all means what you are most excited for and what you are hoping that is going to be released in this new update. So there you go, little beans, a quick roundup just to let you know that those items are on the way. Vianchi did post a new video showcasing them as well as various other bits and bobs that the developers have already confirmed. It looks like a ton of new Halloween items are on the way, probably more than they've shown on stream. So I imagine they probably made some off camera too. So I'm very excited to get stuck in upgrading my dorm for halloween and autumn buying some of the autumn halloween items and of course enjoying the halloween and then hopefully christmas and new year's update soon as well it's that time of year again you guys that we all look forward to all year long in rural high and i'm so excited to enjoy it with you guys once again